Hey everyone, welcome back to video three, the third tutorial in the Discovery Box series. And the Discovery Box, if you haven't watched episodes one and two, are the boxes that I made with Spectrum Noir. This one I made with them is the Sketching Enthusiast. There are other Discovery Boxes out there which were worked with other artists on the Spectrum Noir team. So keep your eye out for those if you want to have a look at which ones are around. And today is going to be concentrating on the Bird of Paradise flower drawing painting drawing and yeah let's crack on with that and talk you through if you want to see the full details of what's inside the box head to video one and i'll pop a card up for that now if you are going to be taking part in the tutorial grab yourself the line work or get one sketched out and the first one we are going to start playing with is the alpine green and to get a lot of the colors on this particular drawing we're going to be mixing the colors that you have within your pack as I mentioned in the first video, the reason why I chose these particular colours is that they are very primary, but they give you everything that you need. I have gone for these types of pictures because I felt, as a beginner, they are three of the easiest subjects to do. So if you haven't seen video one, we did a tree frog. Video two, we did a hummingbird with some flowers. And this time we did a little bit more complex where we do a bit more shading and we have a go at blending a few more of the colors. So it's worth having a look back at video one and two if you wanna have a go at these projects. But again, don't forget that it's really just taking the principles of what you're learning through these videos and applying them to what you want to do how you know as you go forward because you'll eventually develop your own style and you'll find ways of working with these that work the best for you. We've done the mix of the sunshine and the alpine green and that gives us a really nice beautiful mix of the dark green going into more of like the grassy greens and they work really really well. If you grab a clean brush as you saw that I did there and just sprinkled a little bit of water or tapped some water on it gives you some really really nice effects on those leaves. I've just done a single stroke of scarlet and we're going to wash that out. Again, as I've mentioned previously, we only apply the color where we want it the strongest. Then we can draw from that color and move out into or, or into wherever the, the lightest areas and just work these colors round until you get them where you need them to be. It is much safer to build these colors up over various layers. Layering is actually one of the basic rules when it comes to any type of um, drawing and painting. Again, even if you're doing acrylics, you wouldn't just go in with one solid layer, depending on the type of style, I suppose that could be the case. But as a general rule, you work in layers and that's really what you need to do when you're working with these pens. I've just put down some Prussian blue and this is going to help me get some really deep, rich shadows in those areas that I want to make it look more 3D. It also changes the tone of your colour, which also helps towards giving it a much more 3D natural look. Just simply having a little bit of tone somewhere that is different to what is next to it, you can build up variation and contrast without actually having to do a lot of work. So while we're giving the leaves time to dry, we're gonna work on the top of the flower and we're using sunshine for this and I'm literally in one petal just doing one stroke of colour per petal because you'll see that the richness of these pigments means that actually a little colour goes an extremely long way. We're now using the scarlet and you'll find that the combination of the scarlet and the sunshine make the most stunning orange and they're such nice bright rich pigments that you just get this really beautiful bright colour.
just the blending of these two colours give you a really lovely colour combination and not only that you get the depth of the scarlet on the edge of the petal. Using these dark colours like this, although they spread out and they're very nice and vibrant and you can quite, um, you can desaturate them quite a lot, you still get that bright edge of pigment which really helps go towards creating depth on your picture. So as with this one, you'll see going forward that we start adding a little bit more here and there just to start increasing that. But make sure that your brush is nice and wet. Don't oversaturate your paper. If you do, the water will just flood it and you won't have any control over your inks and you may find that you desaturate them too much. You want a nice happy medium, but if you do find that you do oversaturate the paper too much, just grab yourself a bit of kitchen roll remove some of that excess water and just uh, yeah keep calm and carry on i've mentioned in previous videos but making sure that you have the correct paper for these types of paintings is pretty vital when you get your kit you will have three spare in there so you can have a go at doing your own drawings as well as the line work we've supplied with regards to the new drawings or these drawings. So, um, you know, have a play with those other bits. Even if you use them for swatching and getting familiar with how these tools work, you'll find that actually, after a while, you'll get so used to them. And as I say, you'll find little techniques that you really enjoy. There's so much information on these pens out there and I have quite a lot of videos in my playlists of me using these products. So, of course, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to come find me on my social media at Beneath Doodles. I'm on TikTok, I am on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook so don't hesitate to come find me if you have any questions I can help with and yeah I'm more than happy to answer them. The dark areas that we're doing at the top of the flower are all done with the Prussian blue. Now the Prussian blue is such a beautiful universal just I don't know what it is about it but it's so handy to use so on the very tip there I've used a tiny bit of Prussian blue and then a bit of the alpine green and that is going to give us just enough that we can just do those small areas and get the color that we need the Prussian blue is very much a rich color which is a very purpley bluey tone that was my technical way of describing it you can get purples that are more on the magenta side and you can get purples that are more on the cyan side so this is definitely more cyan than it is magenta which means it's very much like a rich royal purple so when you add it in with other colors it just gives you this intensity you'll, you'll see as you play along with it they're just really really lovely Effectively what we're doing here is doing all your base layers so your sort of first two or three layers that we'll be applying and these tend to be a little bit more saturated than the top layers. Ideally you want depending on the depth of the saturation that you want of the colour you ideally want to dry in between each layer. If you keep working wet on wet you'll find that you don't quite always get the intensity that you want. Uh, if you let them dry in between, it gives the colour less sort of room to spread, which means you get a more concentrated area of it. Just use any excess like I have there that's on your paintbrush and just tap on the edge of one of your pens and it will give you this really lovely splattering effect. And I like using that as a bit of a movement and expression and I just think it looks really, really cute on these pictures. So. Give it a whirl if you fancy it. I've used the Scarlet Red again to start building up the shadows in the darkest areas that I want them. And you can see just from this video alone just how vibrant those colours are. And my camera has a habit of dulling down some of these colours. So you'll see actually when you do your own just how impactful and bright they actually are. By adding some of the alpine green on top of the Prussian blue, we're able to really strengthen and darken the pigment 
in some of the areas so again creating shadows darker areas a bit more contrasts ideally that's what we want to be doing on these particular types of pictures because you want to achieve that nice 3d effect and adding depth in there will do that for you if at any stage you feel like maybe you want to use your illustrator marker to add some shadow maybe you like to line your drawings uh, you know then they're fantastic for all that type of thing especially as they are so good with the um, aqua markers because they are water and alcohol resistant I chose specifically the colours I did because of the ability of their combination and there is quite a big combination that you can get from them and in the, in the previous videos I have showed you the combination possibilities. Of a good range of tones and values so uh, yeah I really carefully considered the colors that we were going to put in this pack so you could get the most out of it but not to overwhelm you with the options that were available hopefully following the previous and this one so previous two tutorials and this one with the line work that you have and the spare sheets that you have it's enough to give you a good starting point to be able to then start to grow your own confidence and just get a bit of a feel of how you can then develop as I've said before your style have a play with them just have fun with them don't allow them to stress you out too much because the whole point of these pens is to give you the freedom to be able to color really easily and the possibilities with these pens are endless as I say, I have worked so much with these pens and I have done some amazing portraits and I've enjoyed every time I've used them. I have made some frustrating mistakes. I have had to bin things. I have made some amazing pictures that I'm incredibly proud of. And with any art journey, whether you are just starting out or whether you are a seasoned artist, there are always things to learn. So please don't let these intimidate you. Enjoy using them and just have a play. Get used to how they're going to work first rather than try and maybe go in and do something straight away. Get used to them. They're great and they're great for any age and that's the advantage. So if you know of a budding artist who doesn't necessarily want to buy all the kit, this is the perfect type of thing for them. If you have enjoyed this video and you are enjoying the discovery packs, I'd love to know. Hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to me as well. Just hit the bell button to be notified and I go live every Wednesday and I quite often use Spectrum Noir products. So don't forget again to look back to the previous two tutorials and I shall put a link in the description below for you for those. But happy painting, have a good morning, afternoon, whichever it may be, and I shall see you in the next video.